Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making oatmeal scotchies. So let's get started. First off, set that oven to 375. There is minimal to no chill time for this cookie, depending on how you like it. We're gonna add one and a quarter cups or 150 grams of all-purpose flour into a larger bowl. Perfect, okay. Using a scale is always best because you know exactly how much flour you're adding to your recipe. Half a teaspoon of salt is gonna give us some nice contrast to those butterscotch chips. And I'm gonna tell you that if you're using a fine grain salt, use half the salt. For leavening, one teaspoon of baking soda. And finally, any oatmeal cookie needs cinnamon. Let me know if you don't agree in the comments. <laughs> in you go. Hmm. Grab a whisk, whisk it up. Just whisk, whisk, whisk to distribute the cinnamon, the leavening agents and the salt. And we're gonna set that aside. It's time for that butter. It needs to be room temperature. And just so you know, room temperature butter is not melty. It's not hard. It yields to the touch. So you can press down, it'll resist a little bit, but it's not gonna be like rock hard. This recipe has half a cup or 100 grams of white granulated sugar, but the star is the dark brown sugar. Look at that color. Mm, brown sugar and butter is a match made in heaven. Tell me I'm wrong. All right, we have to fill one cup up, but if you just add the sugar in, you can see there's like a lot of little empty spaces, there's voids. That's not okay. We need to pack it down. So packed brown sugar will be 200 grams. There we go. Now we're going to mix up our butter. One cup, 226 grams, unsalted room temperature. Once that's creamed up, we can add the white sugar and then the brown sugar and mix until light and fluffy. Butter's all creamed up. We're gonna add that one cup of granulated sugar. In you go. Mix that up until it's light and fluffy, then add the brown sugar. Brown sugar has molasses and it is really, 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 really delicious. It does not fluff up as well as the white sugar though. So add white, then the brown. Alrighty, scrape it down. You knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> So Brian loves butterscotch cookies. These oatmeal scotchies are right up his alley. So they're gonna be a special treat after dinner. And the kids are always down to try a new cookie as well. Brown sugar's in, 200 grams. Mix until well combined. Once that butter sugar combination is all mixed up, we're gonna add two large room temperature eggs in one at a time. No shells, please. And mix in between eggs. All right, this is nonsense. It's soup on top, solid butter on the bottom. So just scrape it down before you add the next egg in. Time for egg number two. I'm gonna break this open one handed. We're gonna mix this up until it is well combined. Mix it up. My eggs are in, this looks great. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla in. Mm. And now it's time for the rest of the ingredients. We have our flour mixture, but we're also gonna add in three cups of old fashioned oats and a full package of butterscotch chips because they are oatmeal scotchies after all. Time to add the dry ingredients in. Just plop that flour in and we're gonna mix this until it is almost combined. Don't over mix it because we have to add our oats and our scotch chips in too. We're mixing on low until almost combined. There's still a lot of flour here and that's how we want it. We're done with the paddle. No, we're not. The paddle attachment's gonna be used a little bit more. We are gonna scrape the bowl down. Time for three cups of old fashioned oats. We're gonna add them right in. And if you're measuring it out, it's about 300 grams. I have an 11 ounce package of butterscotch chips here. I'm gonna reserve a handful just to pop on top. 
add those butterscotch chips right in. Love the color. And now we're gonna mix this on low just until it's combined. And they're done. Just a few seconds is all you need. Right now we're going to get all this delicious batter off of our paddle attachment. All right, paddle attachment is done. We're gonna roll these cookies out on prepared baking sheets. So grab your parchment paper, your baking sheets, and maybe even a silpat if you like that instead. I lined some baking sheets with parchment paper and now we're just gonna scoop out roughly two tablespoon sized portions of dough. Scoop them out first, then we're gonna roll them up to be nice and neat. Mmm, these smell so good. And I might have been eating some batter behind the scenes. Don't tell anybody, <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Give them about two to three inches of space in between each cookie so they can spread out. We're gonna roll these up just really fast. And then you do not have to do this, but I like to freeze them for 10 minutes just so they firm up and you're gonna get like a nicer, nicer cookie. You could also chill them, like fully chill them, but they don't need very much. Pop some extra butterscotch chips on top if you'd like. Into the freezer, 10 minutes just to firm up. I wish you could smell these right out of the oven. The brown sugar, the butterscotch, the little bit of cinnamon, it all comes together in the perfect cookie. Hmm, that is so nice. You just have to make this recipe. It's like the perfect chewy oatmeal cookie sprinkled with butterscotch. It's delicious. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, check out my cookie playlist.